Hey guys and gals, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd just check in with a very quick video. First of all, I want to talk about my summer setup. Uh, I've got the I've got the grip puppies off back for these uh, thinner grips. Then I've got the hand guards off so that I can get maximum uh, wind on the hands. I've got my lowest uh, or my shortest windscreen. This is the uh, stock Suzuki one and um, it's at the lowest bracket setting. So I've got the summer wind coming my way. I'm back into the wind on my body. Uh, and it's great because Texas might as well be summer. I know it's not summer yet. It might as well be. Texas is a great place. All right, so today's two-minute writing tip. We're going to try to make this two minutes. The two-minute writing tip is all about phones. Don't use them on the road. Don't use them as you're driving. We know that. But what happens when you've got a navigation on your phone or a dedicated navigation and you pull off to the side of the road, you pull into a gas station, you got to uh, update the maps real quick and get back on the road. Well, uh, you've got to shed the gloves and risk one of them falling off, leave them on the tank, they slide, they drop, you know, wind blows, and then you've got them on the ground trying to pick them up. Anyways, uh, so what I've seen in the past is some people do the fingerless gloves. I'm not a fan of those. I'm not going to do that. I want to keep my hands covered and protected at all times. So I will always do the fingered gloves. Now that's where this gimmick comes into play. The touchscreen ready gloves. Well, you buy these pair of touchscreen ready gloves and you get about a day to a week or at most maybe two weeks of usage and then you're back to sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you just keep trying and trying and trying as hard as you can. Uh, to no avail, it doesn't register. I've never found a pair of gloves that actually works uh, for more than a couple of weeks. So that's out the window. Well, there, there comes in my tank pen. There you go. My tank pen uh, version 1.0 is just a big magnet, super, uh, sorry, hot glued onto a pen uh, that you can buy at Walmart or a store for less than a dollar, uh, 94 cents this one was, and it sticks to the tank. No, it doesn't fall off. I can, you can ride, you can even put it off to the side here and go over off roads and whatever. It won't fall off because the pen itself is almost weightless and the magnet is pretty strong. I guess that's the two minute mark. So it's probably a three minute riding tip. We got off track. But the problem with uh, tank pen 1.0 is you do your stuff and then you put it back on and then you get back on the road. Well, a couple times, um, I pick it up and my glove hands drop it and it falls off to the side. So it's on the road or it's uh, off in a parking lot or you just got to leave it or pick it up, find it, get off your bike. So here is today's tip. We have, hey, we have arm zip. Uh, we have the arm zip cord. Uh, this is the same thing. Uh, you've got a little 94 cent pen. But now you put it onto this wonderful zip cord that straps onto your arm. So when you're riding, you just pull it off, do whatever you need to do, let go. It zips back in there. There you go. You can buy these zippers at uh, Home Depot. I bought this one for less than $3. So uh, there's your tip. Ride safe. Don't ever use your phones on the road. But if you've got to do it, uh, do it real quick without taking your hands, uh, taking your hands out of your gloves. So see you next time. Happy riding.